Hey, welcome back to Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. I'm Dustin, and today we're gonna to do something that your kids are gonna thank you for. We're gonna do smoked mac and cheese. macaroni and just go by the instructions. This one right here says add four cups of water or four quarts of water. Bring it to boiling. Let it sit about seven or eight minutes until tender. Then drain it. So that's what we're going to do. All right the next thing we're going to have to work on the cheese sauce and it's going to be a real creamy cheese sauce. It's going to be what makes it good. So you throw you some about a two tablespoons of butter on there. Throw you in a two tablespoons of flour. And then we're just going to stir this and cook it until it mixes pretty good. Then we're going to start adding the cheese. All right, you're getting pretty smooth there. So what we're going to do now is one cup at a time. We're going to start mixing in the heavy whipping cream. that till it starts thickening up just a little. All right, now it's looking pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and add the cheese to it. And this one I'm gonna use, I've got a pound of sharp cheddar. And I got a half pound of the hot jalapeno and habanero jack shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a kick, but not too much. We're gonna mix all that in there real good until it thickens up and gets real smooth. All right, the cheese is really starting to mix, mix together good. So I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of hot sauce. Mix that in there and it should be get ready to go with the noodles. Okay, so it's ready to get dumped into the noodles here. All right, that's in there. Now we're gonna put in a cup of mayonnaise and a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of seasoning salt. Maybe half a tablespoon or so. And we're gonna mix it together real good. And then I'll tell you what, it's already looking good at this point right here. But it's gonna get better. Looky there. All right, from here it's ready to go ahead and get you in your pan. That cheese sauce turned out great. That is just, that's extra creamy right there. And by now my grill should be up to temperature. Go stick this on there. All right, she's on there now. As you can see, I put it on this grill rack to keep it off the grates. Maybe get a little slower, more smoky taste to it. So what I might do is I might get my smoke tube on here since we're cooking at such high temperatures. The pellet grills don't normally put out very much smoke at that high. I might go ahead and just put that burner tube on there too. All right, so I went ahead and I did put the uh, smoke tube on there give the extra smoke taste and we're gonna check back in about about an hour see how she's looking make sure that top gets real nice and golden brown it'll be ready to pull all right so it's been on there for about an hour it should be ready come on in here look at that oh my gosh 
You got the brown on top, it's bubbling. That's exactly what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and take it out and take it to the kitchen. All right, there it is. Looks great. It's got a great topping on, crusted up real nice. Uh, real happy with it, so let's give it a try. I already had this food sitting out for a minute to cool down. My gracious, it's still hot. <laughs> uh, you can taste, man, that jalapeno cheese really pops out. You can taste that smoky flavor. I'm glad I did the smoke tube on it. Everything worked out great. It's a, it's a, it's a great dish. All right, that was it. It's a great dish. It's real quick to make. The kids are gonna love it. It's good for any kind of party you go to. It's just a few ingredients, mix them all together. Not hard to do at all. So, hey, I appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, just like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Comment if you would. Uh, still trying to grow my channel. We're doing one to two cooks a week. We're trying to do more than that. So, uh, as long as y'all keep watching, I'll keep cooking. Thanks again.